Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2022, slot 1 DILR says that there are 15 girls and some boys among the graduating students in a class. They are planning a get together which can be either a one day event or a two day event or a three day event. There are six singers in the class, four of them are boys. So, four of if you talk about singers. There are four boys and two girls and ten dancers, four of them are girls. So six boys and four girls are dancers. No dancer in the class is a singer. So there is no overlap between singer and dancer. Some students are not interested in attending the get together. So there are some students who are not interested also. So not everyone is interested. Those students who are interested in attending a three day event are also interested in attending a two-day event. Those who are interested in attending a two-day event are also interested in attending a one-day event. So this can be done through a Venn diagram, making three-day event the most interior one. Let us say this is three-day event. Then outside it, we can have two-day event. And outside that, we can have one day event because those who are interested in three day are also interested in two day and those who are interested in two day are also interested in one day. So let's say this is a one day event. So let us say these graphs are for boys and girls. Okay, so this is the graph that we will make three day event, two day event and one day event for boys and girls. All the girls and 80% of the boys are interested in attending a one day event. Okay, so all girls are interested in attending one day event. Now one day event means this red thing is one day event. So that means none of the girls is interested is not going to that occasion. Okay, and 80% of the boys. 80% of the boys are interested in attending one day event. Now 80% is 4 by 5. So let us say the total number of boys is 5x. Hence, the number outside this Venn diagram will be x. So there are x boys who are not interested in attending any of these. Some of the girls are interested in attending a one day event, but not a two day event. So exclusively one day event. Some of the other girls are interested in attending both. Some people are interested in both of these. So there will be some values. These dot denote that there will be some positive integer over here. 70% of the boys who are interested in attending a two-day event are neither singers nor dancers. 60% of the girls are interested who are interested in attending two-day event are neither singers nor dancers. Okay, so we will figure out this later. A bit complicated. No girl is interested in attending a three day event. So we have a zero number over here. So all the girls are within these two and we are given that there are 15 girls. So that it has to be a total of 15 girls in these two regions. Okay, then we have all male singers and two of the dancers are interested in attending three day event. So in three day event, you will have all male singers and two of the dancers. So what do you mean that all male singers? There are four male singers and two of the dancers. See, none of the girls is attending a three-day event. So two dancers have been filled over here. So four boy dancers, four boy singers are done, right? And two of the dancers are done. So we, we are left with four boy dancers, two girl dancers and four girl dancers. So it is done. Next says the number of singers attending in two day event is one more than the number of dancers interested in attending two day event. Okay, so number of dancers uh, will have to find out. Next is uh, like we filled the first information. Second part is missing. It says that 60% of the boys are interested in attending two day event. So two day event means the green circle. So it cited it is 3x. 
this is x so only one day event is also x okay so that also another information we can fill over here so first point is done second point is done fifth point we need to keep in mind is number of singers interested in a two day event is one more than the number of dancers okay so uh, it should be one more than the number of dancers here now we do not know how many singers are there how many dancers are in this category now next thing that we can put is the point number three which is missing it says 70 percent of the boys who are interested in attending a two-day event right so we have these people attending two-day event are neither singers nor dancers so these are neither singers or nor dancers negative statement 70 percent are neither singers nor dancers that means 30 percent are singers or dancers Similarly, when we say 60% of the girls who are interested in attending a two-day event are neither singers nor dancers, so that means 40% are singers or dancers, okay. Now, from this, uh, we figure out that uh, like people who are attending two-day event, right, it has to be a multiple of, it has to be a multiple of three, we said the total is 3x and 30% of them is also an integer because it says 30% of them are singers or dancers. So 30% is also an integer that means x should be a multiple of 10. Okay. So x could be 10, it could be 20, 30 etc. So if you take 30, if we take this number as 30, x has to be a multiple of 10 because 30% of x is an integer value. So if you take 30, that means we have 9 singers or dancers okay if you take x equal to 20 that means uh, 3x will be 60 and we will have 18 people who are singers or dancers now see that among boys there are only 10 singers or dancers so this confirms that x can take only one value which is 10 so x is 10 now we get the number of boys also from this so there are total of 50 boys 50 boys, so 10 boys here, 10 boys here, remaining 30 boys within these two categories. Right. Now, out of these, 30% are singers or dancers. So, these are remaining 30 boys and 30%. So, we have 9 singer and dancers, 9 people who are singers and dancers. And in, uh, in this, we have one of the person will be outside the category, right? So we have filled all the singers for boys. So we should have like boys singers are done, only dancers can be here. So we can put three more dancers here. So we have nine people who are singers or dancers, right? So out of these 30, nine are singers or dancers that we have filled. Now the next thing here is uh, we need to find that girls who are singers or dancers that is 40 percent of the one which is inside the two-day event now we are given the number of singers interested in attending two-day event is one more than the number of dancers interested in attending a two-day event now how many uh, singers can we accommodate so we have already we have put all the we have put five dancers so number of singers can be six right we can put six singers and five dancers if we increase the number of dancers right let's say it is 40 percent are singer or dancers so we can have four singer or dancers or we can have uh, two singers or dancers now if you put two singers or dancers there are only two more singers left Right, two more. Uh, there are five dancers which we have already filled. Three dancers here and two dancers here. Five dancers are filled. It says that the number of singers is one more than the number of dancers. So singers are maximum six because two girls and four boys. So the only possibility is six singers and five dancers. Now total six singers are there. Four singers are among boys. So we will have two girl singers and no dancer in this category. Okay, so that means the girl dancers 
that is four girls that are dancers will come in the three day event one day event right now the next thing is finding the number of girls here it says all uh, this point point number 3 the second part it says 60% of the girls are not interested uh, are neither singers or dancers so 40% are singers or dancers that is two so that means there are five girls in this range and 10 girls in this criteria so now we have filled all the information that is available with us the number of girls is zero in this region five in this region and 10 in this region so total 15 girls and no girl interested not going to any of the events among the boys we have 50 boys 10 boys are not going to any of the events 10 boys are going to one day event and 30 boys are two day events now we cannot bifurcate the numbers between these two now we have figured out there are four singers and two dancers here three dancers here now one person that is remaining as a dancer among boys now that dancer can be put here or can be put here so we cannot determine that information so this is all what we can fill using the given conditions now let us look at the questions and answer them based on these graphs how many boys are there in the class we have 50 boys in the class which of the following can be determined from the given information the number of boys interested in attending one day event and are neither dancers nor singers okay now if you see number of boys interested in one day event neither singers nor dancers so these are the boys interested in one day event neither singer nor dancers we cannot determine because one dancer can be present here or may be present outside okay so let's say it is d dash d double dash so we do not know that whether there is a dancer here or not so we cannot determine this data second condition second statement says the number of female dancers who are interested in attending a one day event so for females we already know the number of dancers in each of the categories so this can be determined so only two can be determined what fraction of the class are interested in attending two day event so how many students are there in the class 65 and two day event how many are interested so we have 30 boys in two day event and five girls in two day event so total of 35 students out of 65 are interested in two day event which turns out to be 7 by 13. What best can be concluded about the number of male dancers interested in attending a one day event. So male dancers attending one day event. So if you talk about one day event, one day means all, uh, all this information is included. So five dancers are compulsorily there. We may have the sixth dancer as a one day event or we may not have that sixth dancer so five are compulsory these three and these two so we may have five or six dancers how many female dancers are interested in attending a two day event so two day event uh, is the green one we do not have any female dancer interested in two day event so the answer is zero so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.